For a look at developing stories this morning, I'd like to bring in Kevin Green, senior markets correspondent here on Schwab Network. We're watching Amgen got some good news from the FTC when it comes to the acquisition of Horizon Therapeutics. I saw Horizon jumping. Um, tell us a little more what you're watching with the story. Yeah, Horizon Therapeutics up about 5.5% in the session here, Nicole. Now, the FTC has actually halted its challenge against Amgen acquiring Horizon Therapeutics here. And this actually allows the FTC to really kind of contemplate if they want to kind of move forward when it comes to this complaint. But they have until September 18th in order to do so here. Now, uh, we are seeing a little bit of softening, softness, softness when it comes to the FTC um, after really that recent uh, about face when it came to Microsoft uh, and uh Activision Blizzard. So maybe we are seeing a little bit of a pullback when it comes to some of these challenges when it comes to mergers and acquisitions here. And now we are seeing, you know, both of the stocks will uh, Horizon Therapeutics for the most part up. Amgen's down about a quarter of a percent on the session here today. But let's see if this is a, a, a starting to become a trend when it comes to scrutinizing some of these uh, mergers here in the near future, because that could also spark some additional activity in a market that actually has seen it slow over the last couple of years, especially in a high rate environments. So really good news when it comes to both of these companies here. Let's wait until September 18th to see uh, if the FTC uh, changes their stance on this uh, you know, particular acquisition at this point. All right. And another name that you'd been watching and you talked about this one, but now it's going a different way. We're watching Hawaiian Electric had that big gap down, the Maui fires, the deadly fires, and a lot of controversy surrounding what kind of liability Hawaiian Electric has. And now they're saying that, uh, you know, it's legally irresponsible to be, you know, talked about in this way and be upset with Hawaiian Electric. I see it jumping big time. Tell us more about that. Nicole, this is the definition of volatility. This name continues to move to the upside and downside on a day-by-day -day basis as we get an update on some of the uh, details about the fire as well as some of the lawsuits here. Now, we are seeing the shares up around 34% in the session here. And they are actually, the CEO is actually t uh, calling them uh, Maui County um, that they are basically factually and legally irresponsible for having some of the comments that they've made, as well as some of these uh, lawsuits that are coming to fruition here. They are stating that they did actually uh, de-energize their uh, power grid here uh, right when they had the first fire. Uh, and right now, the second fire is inconclusive on how it actually started here. So they are uh, stating and pushing back here a little bit that uh, you know the Maui County has gone a little bit too far here. They also do acknowledge that the fire could have started by the electrical uh, power lines in itself, but that they did take the proper ash action and notified uh, regu uh, regulators as soon as they uh, knew that an issue uh, did occur. So that's why we are seeing the stock move to the upside. We are not done with this. And Nicole, we've seen this in the past. This could take years or even two or three years for this to actually be resolved here. So I would continue to probably see some volatility in this name and just kind of beware if you are a trader in this name as well to the upside or downside. A lot of uh, NYSC halts going on, a lot of news that is coming out that may be factual or not factual. Um, so you always want to be aware of that type of uh, environment when you are trying to trade this name. Yeah, I hadn't realized that a lot of the talk was about the power lines. I mean, you know, I haven't followed Hawaii and Electric as closely. I know the story, but, you know, the big picture story and the fatalities. But I didn't realize this, uh, saying power lines not responsible for that deadly Lahaina fire. I, I mean, it's a lot of back and forth, as you said, that volatility. And we're seeing 40% moves, you know, basically, right? Thank you so much. Kevin Green, great to see you. Senior Markets Correspondent. Thanks.